Make sure you tap that bell so you never miss a video. Is that the real Big Fry TV? Hell yeah, it is, bitch. Why aren't you playing Tarkov? Because I'm fucking sick of playing four goddamn maps all day. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, as you guys know, I was streaming Foxhole on Twitch the other day and now I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the game. A lot of people were asking me to try it, I finally decided to pick it up and uh, it's weird, when I first saw the game and I saw the gameplay uh, just on the Steam store, I thought it was an RTS. Like, I'm not an RTS guy, I don't like StarCraft, I don't like playing games like League of Legends where you gotta click everywhere and fucking move around. I'm just not a fan. But then I sat down and watched a video from Blue Drake 42 where he was talking about it uh, and, and playing it, and it kind of intrigued me. It's like you're a single player, you're not like controlling a whole bunch of units, it's not about like resource gathering and then fucking Zerg rushing. Um, it is about resource gathering, but it's not in the same sense as like StarCraft. Um, so what Fox Soul is is a persistent online MMO essentially there's 140 players in a server and you're basically trying to gather resources arm an army so that you can go and take over points on the map and eventually take over and win the war and I I've seen reviews where games have gone on two three days you can see in the browser there's some games that go on 14 days I don't know if that's like like actual like 14 days of gameplay I can't really fucking tell yet but I've, I've only put a couple hours in the game so far and a lot of that time was spent just kind of learning how the the armies are funded like with weapons and and how the materials come into play with building vehicles and 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 just kind of just the logistics of of funding and, and arming an army uh so basically when i was streaming we were just doing logi runs i was uh, i was with a a guy i can't remember his name uh and we were just going back and forth grabbing materials he would pick up somebody that person would start farming materials and they would be at a point on the map and that's all they would do is just farm materials and then we would drive around and do our route pick things up and then take it back fucking salvage all the parts and then that would be used then to like build weapons and fucking grenades and all this other shit and we just did that for like three hours just drove around the the part of the map and we just we eventually like we started with one truck then we had three trucks going at one point and it, it was just fucking amazing being a small part of this huge kind of just more persistent team not necessarily getting into a lot of combat, although we did we did do a little bit of combat at the very end because we started to get overrun a little bit. But just just driving around, chilling, and, and just doing a fucking job while a war waged on. It was it was it was kind of surreal. The game is really good. Like I will say that. Like it's something that I didn't think I would ever get into, but I'm kind of glad I bought it. Uh, we were talking in chat. One of my buddies says that he doesn't know if it, it'll be worth the $20 on Steam. I personally think it is. I think I'm going to get a lot of time out of it. When, when like, uh, lately I've just been bored of PUBG. I've been bored of EFT. And I just wanted to play something that's a little bit different. And I feel like when I get into this zone and get into this mood, this is going to be a game that I'm going to put a lot of time into. Uh, I just hope the player base sustains, which it looks like it is. Like, there's a lot of people playing the game. And it's just, it's just fun. I, I do believe that some of the balancing needs to come down to when players are in foxholes and they have like increased visibility. They're, they're pretty overpowered. Um, I find that the combat is, it, I'm still trying to get used to it with uh, like the point and click. It's kind of like almost like a twin stick shooter in a sense, or like those old, I just remember it kind of reminds me of those old flash games on like mini clips and addicting games where you can move around with the arrow keys and aim around. If you guys remember like stick arena, it kind of reminds me of that combat style only in like a more like top down Diablo esque version. And it, it, it's fun. I'm still trying to get used to it. I'm not very good at it, but I was getting better at the very end of the stream. And it's crazy. Like I was playing on Blue Drake's uh, community server and I found that everyone on that server for the most part was just doing a fucking job like we were doing the logi runs there were people just like back at base there's one guy who literally just stood in one spot and as we brought the materials back into the base he grabbed them from the truck and put them in boxes and that was his job and he did it and he did it for three hours which was f he's probably still there you know what i mean uh so it's crazy the way they handle the rankings 
is as you do jobs, you, you earn ranks and then you can give uh, commendations. Every time you rank up, you earn a commendation, I believe is how it is. And you can give commendations to other players. So I got commendated a couple times for the driving and gathering and all that. And eventually you work your way up. And the only way you can work your way up the ranking system is if you actually get commendated by other players by doing a good fucking job. And I think that's interesting and it kind of promotes a more community-based aspect and I, I actually really enjoyed playing on Blue Drake's server. Um, I don't know how it would be with official servers with people just jumping in and out, but when you have a community, I feel like like that's where you're going to get the most value from this. When everybody is on the same page, there's no fucking trolls and you're just, you're just getting shit done. Basically, now this game is being made by the guys at Clapfoot. I thought this was their first game, but apparently they made a game called Fortified, which launched back in February of 2016. It's like a third person shooter. So these guys uh, are, they've kind of been around the block. They're getting their foot in the industry. And I think that like even looking at Fortified, uh, it's like a third person shooter. It's like ultimate defense. It's like your def it's like a defense like tower type thing, but it has a retro sci-fi look uh four player co-op so like these guys these guys i think understand that bringing good solid concepts to the table is what fucking sells their games because these are two very different games but i think they've executed both of them very well i've never played fortified but the reviews are mostly positive on steam which is good if you guys are looking at the gameplay for foxhole and it looks like something you guys are into i i, I would try it you know you have two hours uh there is a little bit of a learning curve so if i were you i would try to join a community server uh you have two hours before you can refund it i would i would strongly urge you guys to try it out i am going to be writing a review for my curator page on steam if you guys want to follow that join the fry nation steam group the link is down in the description below there are reviews there i try to only review the games that i actually enjoy over there so you guys get some positive recommendations for some steam games and this is going to be one of them uh foxhole's dope and i see myself playing this a lot more in the future um, so yeah, that's kind of my assessment of it so far. Again, I, I have a few hours in it. I haven't really seen, I don't think everything there is to offer yet, but, um, yeah, so far really enjoying what I'm seeing. My name is Big Vry. If you guys have played Foxhole, leave a comment down below, or if you're seeing the gameplay and you just want to have a discussion, leave a comment for me and make sure you guys check out my Patreon. The link is down in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. I do. Oh, first, first. Yeah. I don't know how to do Clear this. Away. Clear the way. Clear the way. <laughs> Fuck. They yeah. underestimate enemy up ahead. <laughs> everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Listen to that voice changer. <laughs> It's not a voice changer, you uneducated oh fuck. <laughs> it's an auto tune. Oh, oh, oh shit. Get with the lingo, son. <laughs>